What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do another video for you guys. I hope this day finds you guys um, in good health, uh, making boss moves, doing boss things, you know. I hope you are blessed and highly favored, okay? I hope this video finds you in, in this is a good day when you see this video that things are going good for you. So um, that's my prayer always for you guys. Um, before we get started, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video. I appreciate all of you that remembers to hit that uh, like button when you come on. I appreciate all the ones that uh, are a part of my Noti gang that keep those notifications on so that you know when I'm doing a video. Now, this video is going to be simple. It's a sides, one of my sides video. Now, I want you guys to just think about this mashed potatoes. We love mashed potatoes down here in the South, you know. But um, we get stuck, just mashed potatoes, some butter, some sour cream, some chai, something like that. You know, we get stuck. So this is um, another way that you can enjoy some mashed potatoes. And um, this is my garlic parmesan red skin mashed potatoes. <laughs> Did you hear what I said, okay? I be always saying, if I can make it with that, I can make it with that. That's why I come I got on that ground chicken train. If I can make some bomb spaghetti with some ground beef, I can definitely make some bomb spaghetti with some ground chicken and some ground turkey. You know, you just have to just try stuff, and then you'll come up with something that you just love. So, let's get started. This is a quick one. This is an easy one. Uh, I think you're going to join uh I think you're going to be adding it to your recipe book, okay? So let's get started. Now, let me show you what I have right here. Now, you're going to have to kind of bear with me on this. Uh, I'm going to put you guys on the other side. Hold on just one second. There you go, my booze and my dudes, okay? So what I have right here is I have me some red skin potatoes. Now, they were, for the most part, these little bitty cute little nuggets, um... Of, of red potatoes and I you see I left them whole and then I had some big ones under my cabinet so I just cut them down so that all of these will be pretty much in the same range but these some of these are so tiny they're just gonna get uh, done first now what you can see right here this is cold water and you can see that I have about I would say this is I think this was a three two I don't know y'all about two pound bag of potatoes and um, I washed them and cleaned them really good because we're going to be eating the skin, right? Now, what I'm doing, you guys, if you can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to see if you can see. You can see that I have my potatoes in here. Now, what you want, you guys, you want your water to just barely go over that highest potato, okay? You don't want none sticking out. You don't want a booty sticking out. Uh, because they don't have a dry consistency to it. So I'm just going to put just a little bit more. Okay. You want everybody to be covered. But at the same time, you want that water just, just over those potatoes. Okay. To this pot, you guys, I'm going to liberally salt this water. When I say liberally, I mean salt it. About two tablespoons per um, pound of potatoes okay you want to liberally sauce and, and a lot of times when I liberally salt like this I end up not having to salt to use salt when I get ready to you know make the actual mashed potato okay now what I have right here you guys is my favorite y'all know I'm, I, I'm about to be out I, I like the shook out my boots when I seen how much of this I had in there and I just knew I had some in the cabinet but I don't honey me and garlic we're best friends I'm going to be putting two Jethro spoons. Y'all know what, who Jethro is. Jethro just mean that's my big pan. That's my big spoon. That's my big pot. That's what it that's it is. This is the one that we usually eat cereal with, right? I'm going to put my minced garlic right down in here with this water, okay? The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to go straight into my uh, pot after my potatoes have cooked and put this down into the mashing process. So I'm going to get them a little bit mashed and a little bit more minced and broke down in this water. Now I'm calling it Parmesan, uh, garlic Parmesan. So y'all know I don't have no problem with some garlic. Now some of y'all don't like the taste of garlic like that. And please start with at least one bulb, make it with one bulb and then see if you want to, you know, 
increase the garlic in there. And if you don't think you want to do it this way, hey, just use you some garlic powder. You know what I'm saying? Um, but definitely, if you're going to call it gar garlic parmesan, you're going to have to have some of those ingredients in there, right? Or else it's just going to be like, why she call it that? I don't taste not a lick of garlic. Why she say that? She just could have said parmesan mashed potatoes. That's not necessary. Don't lie to us, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to make sure that that's in there. Now I'm going to boil these potatoes. Now these red potatoes don't take as long as, uh, say for instance, our russet, but they take about hmm, 10 minutes, I think, is a good number. But I'm not going to even put a minute on it, honey. Let me tell you what to do. When they get fork tender, where a fork is sliding in and out, not sticking to the fork, you got you a good potato. So once that's done, we're gonna uh, move on to what we're gonna do next, okay? See you when they get soft. Okay, you guys, so now we have us some good old potatoes. So you're just gonna go in there and it just falls off like this. Well, it just, it just slides off. Now, hell, it don't slide off. You gotta do it like this. I guess it's gonna show out today. But anyway, but you see how, how easy I'm going through that. I'm sorry for the noise in the background, you guys. I have something in the microwave. I apologize. But you just look how look how easy it is, okay? That's what you want, okay? So I'm gonna drain these and then we're gonna keep everything right here in this pot and we're gonna cook it up. I mean, you know, we're gonna mix everything up. So hold on just one second, we're gonna do that, okay? Okay, so let's do some magic on these mashed potatoes, you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put us some butter in there, you guys. This is personal to you, how much butter, how much uh, milk, whatever. I'm going to do about half of this container. So what is this? This is about a paint. Okay, so I'm going to do about a cup of milk, okay? Now, I drained 95% of my water out of here. Um, but I do like to keep a little bit under the bottom. That just has flavor in it, right? So we like to keep a little bit of that. Now we're going to add us some salt and some pepper to taste, okay? We got milk, butter, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to also be putting me, um, and I put that salt in there because I tasted one of my potatoes and it still did need a little bit more salt, okay? So that's why I come up with some salt in there. Um, but that water was flavored really, really well, and it was really, really good. Let's see. Where is my garlic powder? Garlic powder. Give me some garlic powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, I'll be making up a song on Anathon. Okay, then we're just going to mash. That's going to be hard because you have, not because the potatoes are hard, but you have that, um, you have the hull on there, okay? So you're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to let your muscles show, okay? Let them show. I know you're looking at them, like, oh, they look a little bit, a little bit juicy, honey, baby. Trust me when I say, you're going to do what I need it to do. You got to mash it all up. Now, you can make this a creamier potato if you want to. I like my mashed potatoes kind of lumpy, kind of with some texture, but you can also get also get your hand mixed out, and you can cream these up really, really good if you want to, okay? So, all this is is red skin potatoes, right? Some butter, some milk. Some uh, garlic. You can use fresh garlic. I've done this when I took some fresh garlic bulbs and I put them in the oven and roasted them and then mashed all that good, great, delicious tasting garlic into here. I mean, oh, y'all. I just love garlic like that, though, you know. And like I said, if you're not a fan of a whole bunch of garlic, do garlic powder or something like that to get your garlic in here, okay? So look at that, it's getting beautiful. It's getting beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? Ooh, yeah. So let me get my spoon and I'm gonna stir 
And then I'm going to see if I still have any big pieces in there. Stare around like this. Ah, ah, ah. I'm in a singing mood today, y'all. Y'all know I get like that sometimes. Everything is a freaking song. Everything is a freaking song when I get like this, y'all. No, no, I think those are good, okay? So let me show you what I'm going to do now to end this. You done, baby. Finished. I'm going to finish you off, okay? Well, first of all, we need to give it a little bitty taste to see if we like the flavor without the cheese in it. Okay, I'm just going to give it a little taste. Want to sample it? Mmm. So freaking good. Can you mess up potatoes? Let me think. Uh, no, nah, I, I can't. I, I, I can't think of no scenario. Well, the potatoes ain't good, you know, and the potatoes are always good. That's why these hips is wide as the Red Sea. <laughs> I always want some freaking potatoes and some freaking, what you call them things? Bread, girl. Bread. Lord, just some good bread. Okay, so I'm going to take about a fourth of a cup or half a cup, whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to put it right here on the top, right there, right, right there. And then I'm just going to stir it, swirl it in, okay? We're just going to swirl, do the swirl, do the swirl, okay? We're just going to swirl it in from the bottom to the top. We just gonna swirl it in, right? Just like that, swirl. Just like this, just like this. What I girls say, just like that, just like so, just like that, okay? We just gonna do it just like that. Now this thing too big for my womb, um, hold on y'all. You getting on my nerves. I know I got my guns out, but I ain't trying to use them all like that. Okay? I love this consistency. I love the taste. So now, I'm just going to get them cute. Just going to swirl it in just like this. Swirl. Swirl. Just like this. Oh, they're so good, y'all. Mmm. Y'all know what I'm trying to do. Y'all know I'm trying to make it cute. And I could be done the end of this video. Sitting up here trying to worry about this world. But it's important. Uh, it's important. Because when I put my pat of butter on there, I put my pat of butter on there. I be wanting to be cute. Ooh, I want to be cute. I want to be cute. Now, that's kind of a swirl. Mm. Now, I'm going to put me... Me a little pat of butter right there on the in the center, just like that. And then I'm gonna take me some parsley. You can use fresh if you want to. Both of them taste like dust, so it doesn't matter. This is just for cuteness. When you use parsley, it's for the cuteness factor only. It don't taste like nothing come nobody say. It don't taste like. Nothing. No, are they cute or are they cute? <laughs> Look, y'all. This is our garlic parmesan red skin potatoes. You know what? The only thing I can't find red skin potatoes that just have a vibrant red uh, look to them anymore. So that's that. That's that. I'm just gonna put a couple of little flecks of this right here, and baby, she is done, and she is delicious. Lord, I'm not gonna taste this right now, but we're just gonna pray because that's what we do over here. We pray. But look at that. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time to come together to hang out and get us some recipes, taste some good food, and have some good fun. Lord, I thank you that um, you are a 
Oh my God, you are just sovereign. You're omnipresent. You're everything that we need. We just need to lean on you, take our eyes off of our situation and put it on you and put it in your hands, God. And I ask that if any of my subjects need that and they need that encouragement, that this will bring them that. Every time you tell me to pray, God, I do it because I know you know who needs it. And God, you know what? I need it. So God, we thank you for just being everything that we need. And we ask that you just let our, my subbies try this recipe. Let it be something that they add to their recipe box. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to like the video. That's thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share. And don't forget your food ain't all the way live until it's been read -atized. See you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye.